Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles, and I am here with another video about He-Man, except this time we apparently have information possibly on the new show and what happens in the new show. Now, I want to disclaim this from the get-go by saying this is rumor. It was sent to us anonymously. I don't know the source like I knew the source last time. The last time we knew the person specifically, it was somebody we knew, somebody we knew had access, somebody we knew um, how they got hold of the information and everything else. So we were pretty you know, secure in that information because we did know the source and we trusted the source. This time someone sent it to us, um, they want to remain anonymous. I don't know them like I know the other person. So I can't confirm that this is accurate. I'm just gonna tell you what they said and we'll see what happens. But before people are like, they lied, we're just telling you what someone sent us. I don't know how true it is. However, I will state that some of the things that they mentioned, I have heard. So it does line up with some other things that I have heard. But we won't know until the show releases in a couple days what's true and what's not. So before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, you'll get a woohoo, woohoo. And we're gonna talk about the new Masters of the Universe Revolution show. Now, since yesterday, when I did the video yesterday, um, we talked about how the uh, showrunners, Kevin Smith and, par and company, are out there doing damage control and they're making sure that they stated that they are listening to the fans and they have adjusted the story accordingly, which implies they've been adjusting the story between, you know, seasons in quotes, because they don't like the backlash. They might have planned on going one way at the beginning, like when we saw the script and said about Andra and, and uh, Tila. And then when people were pissed about it, they went a different direction by the end and by this season, which is way down the road. So they're coming out and saying that. They're saying they're course correcting, they're, they're listening to fans. Kevin Smith's on an apology tour, so he won't apologize to us for whatever reason. And trying to explain why they made the choices they made last time and promising that Prince Adam is going to be in 3.5 to 4 episodes of the 5 episode series. I don't know if it's the whole show or just this. Um, someone said it was the show. Don't know. But it could be like part 1 and part 2. So here's what they said. And I want to be clear again. It's rumor. Oh, before we say that, here's a trailer from yesterday. 15,000 down votes. It was 14,000 yesterday. It's 15,000 down votes. So 13,000 up votes as of today. And it's still at 435,000 views. Um, that went up a little bit like 9,000 since this morning. And this is 10 days ago. Even the other trailer doesn't have that much on it. And it was up two months ago because they have lost the audience. And that's why they're trying to win them back. You don't go on an apology tour and try to, you know, say, oh, hey, He-Man, I mean, Prince Adam are going to be in most of the episodes, I promise. And we're listening to fans and changing the story to make sure fans are happy if you're successful and you're not afraid of losing everyone for your show. You also don't have that much of a decline from your original trailer and interest when people liked what you put out the first time. So here are the rumors. I'm going to read them off my phone because I don't want to put anything up that could accidentally, you know, somehow give the identity out for the person who sent it to us. But again, I can't confirm or deny these. I don't know this person to know. So they said um, there is five episodes and they saw them all. Okay, and here's here are the spoilers. So I'm going to tell you, they're spoilers. If they might, they might be true. So if you don't want any spoilers, turn the video off now. Even though most people who will be watching a video from us don't give a shit about the show. We'll probably listen the whole way through. So spoiler, potential spoilers incoming. Turn it off if you don't want to hear it. If you're spoiled now, it's your own damn fault. Okay, so here is what they, the, the spoilers in no particular order. Revolution has He-Man and Tila getting together in the end, which it looks that way. I'm actually for that. Okay, that would be a win on that one. He-Man announces how dumb royalty ruling is and allows democracy. That's very on brand for Netflix. Um, Randor dies to see in the trailer. That's obvious. But comes back as a ghost in the final episode to help He-Man. So now we're going Force Ghost, given Smith's history with Star Wars. That would probably make sense. I mean, I could see him doing that. Hordak is killed and replaced by a magic tech infused Skeletor, Skeletech, because Skeletech kills Hordak. So they're bringing Hordak, they're making a big deal if they're bringing Hordak in. And apparently, according to this rumor, I can't, you know, don't know if it's true or not, they're going to kill him with Skele Skeletech. 
God, this contact just sounds so stupid. Eva Lynn gets redemption, it gets a redemption arc and joins the Cosmic Guardians with Zodak. And this is post credits. Zodak, okay. Where has Zodak been this entire time? This is one of Neon's big sticking points, which again, Neon's not in this video because you all know he doesn't give a shit. But he has said over and over again, where is Zodak? If Skeletor got both swords and was, you know, turning into what he was turning in, you know damn well Zodak would have shown his ass up immediately, right? Where has Zodak been? With all this shit's going down and Zodak's nowhere to be seen, but now that Evil Lynn's got a redemption arc, her and Zodak, you know, she joins the Cosmic Guardians because she's elevated to that level and Zodak and her show up post-credits. Okay, so finally, finally, um, we get the Zodak post-credits. Tila combines all three magics, Havoc, Skeletor, Staffs, you know, Kaa, Snake Power, and Zor, the Sorcerer's Power, into herself and an all-powerful being and recreates Paternia. So they destroy Paternia. And now it's going to be Tila who's going to combine all this stuff to be an all-powerful being that's so powerful she can bring it back. That sounds on brand. That's that, that one I believe completely. He-Man gets a tech magic upgrade, the gold armor from Gwildor. That one I believe because Gwildor we know is going to be in it. It makes sense to go in tech because of the, you know, Skeletech. Which I'm sorry, it just sounds like, you know, it's like emo Hordak. Um, Keldor appears as voiced by William Shatner, but is disguised is a disguised Skeletor. Hordak mind wipes his Keldor origins, but the personality resurfaces, and he tricks He-Man into believing he is Randor's adopted half brother and takes control of Eternia. He-Man uses a power sword to undo the technology takeover of the people and reverts Skeletor to Keldor. Then they're okay. And then this is one everybody's going nuts over, but it shouldn't be much of a surprise because it's already been mentioned and we saw the comic book. Um, there is a, a Despara, um, which is which is Shira. It's Adora. Um, tease in the mid in the mid credits at the end of the five episodes. So to explain this, for those who don't know, um, Despara. It was it was a comic. It was a comic version. It was it was not in the show. It was in the in the DC comics. And basically, she's the evil. She, that's her like horde name. She's the evil alter ego of Shira. She's the force captain of the horde. That's that, it's just like the, that's just her her name in the in the comics as the force captain um, of the evil horde. So that's who that is. So that ties directly into Shira. Here's the thing though. <sighs> Everybody wants She-Ra to show up. I mean, hell, I wanted She-Ra to show up in the 2000s uh, when they did that show. And there was the concept art of her looked amazing. And I really wanted her to show up. And they didn't get that far. But the issue now is rights. It's possible they got the rights to it. Um, it, it I, I don't know if they did. But we're, this character is still within the comics. And they probably have the rights to. I don't know if they have the rights to She-Ra and Adora directly. The Horde, they would because the Horde, you know, was meant to be Masters of the Universe, the main, the main He-Man line. They have the rights to that. It's very con convoluted from my understanding. I know, like, it's kind of like it reminds me of is um, with Disney. We're like, everything's, you know, super segmented. So you might be able to get, like, the license for the Fab Five and do Mickey Mouse and Friends. But you don't have the license to do Darkwing Duck. Or you might have, you know... Like Uncle Scrooge is one thing, and then you know, uh, Tailspin is something else. It's like they're very, they're all connected, but they're they're separate licenses. So I don't know if they have the license for her to use um, Adora and Shira. Um, I also don't want them to touch Adora and Shira because I know I know what they've done so far, and I and had they done justice in the beginning, I'd be more comfortable with it. It's like, I don't want Disney to go anywhere near Mara Jade. It's like, I know they're going to ruin it. I, and we already had she ruined once. I don't want to have she ruined twice. And it's Netflix. So we know how Netflix goes. And I don't really want that either. But we also know that they're doing this, this comic book, which you're saying is a prequel to the show. And so we kind of already knew they were going to go there because like, who is Despara? And that's the the comic book they're putting out. So we already know that they were going to do this. It wasn't, this one we, we, we've heard for a while. So this one wasn't so much of a surprise. They're putting her in the, in the, somewhere in the show or in the end credits because they've already been teasing this 
for a while. So that's probably what they're going to do. But I don't know. That does not, not necessarily mean she were Adora, even though I wish it did. And I'm hope. Do I though? Do I wish it did? I don't. I want a she show. I want a proper she show so bad. Like you don't understand. Like I want it so much. But I'm terrified to you get what you, you asked for, to wish for it. Because I don't want to get what I wish for in a way that was like the last she show. Where it was another show with a, a coat of Shira paint, and it was clearly meant to be something else. And if you see Noel Stevens, oh, sorry, N. D. Stevenson at the time, Noel Stevenson's um, plans for it, they were. It was very much similar. It, it actually fit with the original Shira show, and then it got changed somehow. So um, that was obviously the powers that be, probably at Netflix um, or DreamWorks or whoever who was in, whoever was you know controlling the purse strings completely on that one. I don't want to see them ruin her further. I think a 2000s, the early 2000s show would have done her justice and would have done a great story with her. I don't know how much faith I'd have in it given what happened with Revelation. Um, and Revolution, I, they, they clearly are trying to, we're, we're, we're going to walk it all back, guys. Except now, you know, Tila is the all-powerful and can bring back heaven. But... Um, I still don't think I trust them with She-Ra. I don't know what they would do with She-Ra. Like, I, I'm afraid to see what they would do with her. Um, the rest of the information they said was basically the Revolutions is a very quick rush show that takes plot lines from the 2012 DC comic books. We had heard about the Skeletor Keldor thing before from somebody else. So that just is, is a repeat of something we've already heard, which also kind of went back to the comics with the skeleton people. Um, mostly volumes one and two from the comics. Animation is good. I'm sure it is. The animation, no one's ever questioning that. It always looks amazing. A lot less Andra this, Andra this season, but still manages to somehow make He-Man take a back seat through the five episodes again. Um, if true, again, I want to re reiterate that because some completely illiterate morons don't understand what rumor means. Um, somehow it rumor means that it's completely, that's what you said and that that's all it is. And you don't, and you know, and you lied or in the case of Kevin Smith, it just means, oh, what, what rumor means. And oh, well, he, that's just what he heard, but it wasn't true. So, you know, it's all forgiven. There's a double standard on the rumor, but this is rumor. Don't know. Can't confirm. However, I will say some parts of it, I have heard other places and our source from um, last time it has mentioned the Skeletor Keldor stuff to us too. So we'll see how much of it's true. Um, if it is true, thank you to the person who sent it to us. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens to the show. Their interest does not seem to be high on it. For all the, the talk that, oh my gosh, ever, I've only heard people want to see the show. That's not true. I've seen plenty of people. And the person that person keeps saying that is on the same boards I'm on. And I, and I know people are on there saying they, they aren't interested in it, but a lot of people are because that's, you know, the, there's, the board can tend to be an echo chamber and I get that, but I also know some people like it. And again, that's completely okay if you liked it. If you liked Masters of the Universe Revelation, you're allowed to like it. I know a lot of people said they like the second half better than the first half because that's when they started changing it and making it feel more like, except for Battle Bone or Skeletor, that, that's a Kevin Smith insert right there because he's really obsessed with his penis. Um, you're allowed to like it. Like I have, I, I have no feelings against you if you like the show. I mean, if you liked it, that's cool. I wanted to like it. Um, that's why I'm so upset because I wanted it to be good. The people can seem to think I only want things to fail and that's not true. I, my expectations are very low anymore because it's been like done so many times. It's like, I don't, Neon won't even watch because he doesn't believe him anymore. I'm always internally hopeful. It's one of my one of my personality quirks where I'm always optimistic in some way. And I want it to be good. Like I don't want it to suck. And if it's good, I would be the first to say so. The problem is that people are so busy trying to smack down people that don't like think the way they do and and try to insult them and cause division that they aren't realizing that by doing that, you're just turning them off from watching a new show because you're being so poorly behaved. And by turning them off, like if it turned out it was good, those are the people who who would you'd want to to be the ones to watch it because they'll be the ones that say, "Hey guys, oh my gosh, it's good," and they'll tell their friends and they'll be like, "Well, that my friend really hated the first one, so I like the second one. It must be pretty good." You know, it would actually do a lot for the show to have people being on board with it who previously weren't. But 
people are so busy trying to be like, I'm right and you're wrong. And I'm so personally offended that you don't agree with me about a cartoon that they are just turning people off in droves. And they, that doesn't help anything either. And again, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. I don't blame you at all. I, especially after how people have been behaving over it. If you don't want to watch the show, then by all means, don't. And if you like the show, you're allowed to like it. If you don't like the show and you didn't like things that happened, you know what? You are allowed to like that, to, to feel that way too. And people who don't agree with you can get bent because that's called an opinion. And people are allowed to like things, different things. And I'm tired of this whole divisive bullshit, toxic idiocy that this says that you have to like it or you're not a fan. You can still be a fan of something and not love everything they do. I mean, that's just the way it is. The problem is when people turn their backs on it 100% is when you have the powers that be and the fans out there, you know, actively harassing those who don't align with their opinion. At that point, you're just turning them off and you're doing more damage to the fandom than any anyone else. And, and Kevin Smith running his mouth off. I think that's why he's told he's not allowed to talk about it. I think that's why he said on Twitter, hey, you know, I'm not going to comment about this. I think he was told to keep his fucking mouth shut. I think he was said, like, last time, a lot of this could have been avoided if you hadn't just had a little melt meltdown. And he didn't listen. I think that he's being, he's being gagged. He's being told, you know, you go on the apology tour, you say what we tell you to say, you say, here's why I did what I did, but don't worry, we're fixing it, fam. And then you say nothing else. But he couldn't give an apology because I think a lot of people, um, not me so much, but people are, are, are keep bringing it up. I think they go a long way if they said, hey, you know, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. It might go a long way in helping them but they don't, and that's just my opinion. Anyway, I don't expect it ever. Let me refresh this real quick and see where it's at. So it went up 1,000 views, but it's still 15,000 to 13,000. What do you think? Do you think any of these are, are actually, you know, are, are true? Do you think they're, they're legitimate spoilers? Do you think, you know, what do you think is gonna happen in the show? Comment and let us know, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.